marketwithmiranda.com. In this video, I want to show you a tutorial of how to use Canva Pro to create Pinterest video pins. So video pins launched on Pinterest nearly two years ago, but they've gradually rolled out on the platform. Today I'm seeing more and more video content when I'm searching for recipes, house plants, home decor. So here I'm showing you a quick search that I did for chocolate chip cookies. And I find it interesting that the top two results here are both video pins. And if we were to keep scrolling, we would probably see a variety of collage photos, pins with text. And as we keep going, there's more and more video pins of different varieties. This one looks like it's an ad. And what's really cool here is I'm going to show you that video pins are real easy to make. You don't have to be elaborate here. I want to show you a video pin that I created for my own account. And you're going to see that you don't need a videographer. You don't have to invest money in creating video content. And you definitely don't have to get in front of a camera if you're not comfortable with that. Creating video pins can be really simple. Okay, so this is a file that I created on Canva. You can go to the back end and click create new design, and then you can select Pinterest as the template because that's set up in that two by three ratio that you're going to need to create these video pins. Um, they have a couple other templates you can choose from. It looks like they actually have a video pin template now. Do whatever you decide is best for your business. They honestly have thousands of templates to choose from in their database now. Um, so this is one that I started I have several different designs in here. And as of right now, these are set up. I can save these as a JPEG file or a PNG file. Um, so now I'm going to show you what I do to convert this into a video pen. Um, so what I'm doing right now is going under the elements. Again, they, Canva's amazing because they have so many different elements that you can choose from in here. Shapes, moving stickers, uh, different vectors, anything you can imagine is somewhere in this database, especially if you invest in Canva Pro. A lot of this stuff is included in that, which is another reason why I invested in this. So the one that I shared on Pinterest, I used a moving arrow. Even here, you have a lot to choose from. I like to keep mine on brand, but as you can see, there's a bunch that are really colorful, <laughs> really animated. Um, this could get really fun if you have a product-based business or if your brand colors are different colors of the rainbow. Let's play around with one. See, that one's kind of fun. I'm really just going in here and moving it in a way that makes sense. Um, I'm using the arrow to bring attention to the, the text up here. And then what I'm going to do is, now you can see you can download it as an MP4 video file. Um, but as you can see, this says two minutes and 56 seconds. I think that's because I have other pages here on the file, but I'll show you how to um, download just that first page. So I'm going to make this a five second long pin and then I select just the first page. So then what that does is it's going to download 
only everything that you see on that first page within Canva, and it's going to be a five second long video file. And then just to show you real quick, um, if you wanted to keep working, this is just how I work. I like having all of my pin designs under one design file on Canva. So I'm gonna play around and see if there's some animated lines we can work with. I'd like to see what I could find here. This one looks interesting. I'm going to position it to the back a little bit so it's behind the text. But see, that's just a little fun, quirky way to add some animation to your static pins. So now I'm going to save that one. This time I'm going to select page two and make sure it's saving as an MP4 video file. While I wait for that to load. Um, yeah, this is basically a really easy way to create a bulk set of pins. Once you have your templates created, that's the hard part. <laughs> that's the part that takes the most time. Um, but once you have those templates created, it's really just going in here and I can change the text to match up with a new blog post on my site. And then I can change out the photo file here. Um, that's the other great thing about Canva Pro is they have lots of free stock photos on their site. So it's as simple as putting in a new photo. Um, I can put in a new animation there and then change the text for whatever it is, a blog post, an email opt-in. Um, it's just a really easy way to create new content quickly. As you can see, I basically created two new video pins in about 10 minutes worth of time. So this is a new design file that I opened in Canva. I want to show you from scratch how I create a video pin and then I'm going to show you how to upload it onto Pinterest. So this is a blog post that does really well for me, 27 virtual assistant tasks for full-time photographers. I really like this photo. I'm going to see if I can make it fit inside this Pinterest graphic. So I saved that image off my site. That is a stock photo that I paid for. And this grid right here, I found that here on the side underneath, there's a whole section for grids. When you select the square one, I think it fits into that two by three ratio automatically. Um, and then I like it because I can double click on it and drag the photo how I want it to look on the pin. So I think what I'm going to do here is center the font. Um, and then I'm going to make a block right here so we can make that font easier to read. I just move the rectangle behind the font. Then I'm going to center it a couple times. Moving up my logo a little bit. And then I'm going to play around with the lines this time because I also want this to be a subtle video pin. 
And again, I'm using Canva Pro. It's less than $13 a month and I get all of this for free. It gives me a lot to work with, a lot of creative decisions. I think I like this one. And I can click and center it again. Then I'll move the camera over. And then from here, I'm going to click Create Pin. So we're getting that to load. Okay, so I think for this one, I'm going to change the title slightly and kind of make it the same thing as the blog post title. And I'm also going to use about the same description. Uh, this time I'm going to add some hashtags just to make it more thorough. And then always make sure that your pins have a destination URL. I'm also going to add some tags to this pin. It just makes it more searchable on Pinterest, but these tags aren't public once the pin is published. So uh, I usually add between three and five tags. I was trying to type in Pinterest. There might not be a whole lot of tags for me to use. Since this is a very niche topic. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to do is choose a board to pin this to. And I'm going to choose my virtual assistant board.